Well, guys, quite a night tonight. Chris, start with you. What's it mean seeing all the guys back together? Yeah, it's great. Obviously, it's a, it's a great night for the fans and stuff, and, and going back over the, the photos and brings back a lot of good memories. But obviously, for us, it's, it's great to see see the lads again. You know, some of the boys in there tonight we haven't seen probably since since Cardiff, which it's always nice to catch up with everybody and see who they're getting on. And you see your goal at Brentford back on that screen. Does it bring it all back? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it wasn't the, probably wasn't one of my better ones for my time here, but you know, it was it was. It was uh, one that probably had a, a great deal of meaning and you know, it's, it's great to see it and obviously as I say relive all those memories, it, it was a great night. And that goal, Glenn, of course, took us to Cardiff, you scored at Cardiff, what does that mean to you looking back over your career so far? No, it brings it all back, just seeing the, the clips tonight, um, haven't seen the, the goal at, at the clips in a long time, so um, no, it was, it was, it was brilliant, um, it's probably the only time I've ever scored with my left foot as well, so uh, no, no, I'm happy. Does it seem like a decade ago? No, we're only saying that. Obviously, once we knew we were, we were going to be here, to, to think that it's 10 years already. It's like time's flying, but it's gone, it's gone by so fast. And, and now we're not the, the young lads in the dressing room. We're probably the more senior head. So um, now it's, it's crazy how quick it's gone by. And Bully referred to that earlier. He was the experienced head. What does it mean having that kind of guy in the dressing room for an occasion like that? Well, he says he was the experienced guy, but he's probably the biggest kid in the dressing room. Um, now, obviously, it's, it's great for Bully. I think Bully, he said it already tonight. It was the proudest moment he's, he's had in, in his career and obviously he's thrived on it um, obviously he's coming back and working with the club so he knows how much it, it, it meant to everyone and Chris both you and Glenn of course gone on to become premiership players did you envisage that at that time no I don't think so I think obviously we're probably Glenn I'll tell you the same thing we're sort of grateful at the, the start Sheffield Wednesday gave us you know we've both been sort of let go from from Premier League clubs at the time and to come to such a big club at that stage and you know, maybe maybe things weren't going too well, and to be part of something to to, to help build Sheffield Wednesday getting back up again was was great. And obviously, we've been very fortunate. It's, it's sort of it's sort of springboarded our, our careers. And you know, when when we're both, when we're all done finishing playing, we'll 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 look back here and, and we'll be very grateful and, and very proud of our time here. I think. And is that why, Glenn, tonight you've come back here tonight because it, it meant a lot at that time and now as well. Yeah, it was great just to come back and see Lee Peacock with uh, some noise gear off. Well, well speaking of which, I think I think we ought to mention Lee Peacock. For that boring interview, Lee, if you could just have a quick word here, and uh, perhaps you couldn't mind explain to us where, where did you get those trousers? Start with the money maker, then go down. But Lee, what's it mean to you to be back tonight? Bailey. Yes. I, I, a lot. No, it's great seeing the fans and everything, but it's for me it was coming and seeing these guys and some of them not seen in like. Nine year now since I left. <laughs> you no, no, me off. <laughs> no, no, fantastic. It's been a great night. Oh, they're making a bit of money down there as well with the, with the charities now. But it's it's been a great night. Great catching up. Great seeing this, some of the supporters. And it's now after that little roasting of Peacock, realised how bad I was that season. <laughs> so it was a bonus. <laughs> and Graham Lee, if I could bring you into this, obviously you, you missed the kind of latter part of the campaign. But what's it mean to you to be back tonight? Just again, see the lads, see the fans, come back to the club. Uh, great memories, Tommy. I might miss the final through wintry and it's a massive play. Regret being injured, but being back at the club and I've so I even living here with my wife, she was she was gutted herself that she couldn't come down because we had, we just had a great time throughout the time at Sheffield and uh, the, the club itself was. I'll always have it in my heart. And the spirit of that comes across tonight as well. Yeah, the the fans, but even the lads, everyone. We, you go through your career and I've been fortunate I've had quite a lot of success like and you always know when when you have success comes from the change room and there's team spirit and this this bunch of lads you had to the, you can see by the way they all get on and it's not going to change it's not just teammates it's mates for, for the rest of your life and we all go uh, a lot of there's a good group of us go each been to each other's weddings and everything and we'll always we'll always stay close and Lee Bullen of course the captain if we can bring the captain in from that memorable afternoon in Cardiff obviously does it seem 10 years ago no not when you look at the lads I mean they all look the same age same young faces and same rubbish banter same old same old apart from Peaks has grown a beard and he's actually his gear's got worse if it could ever get worse so no it's been great when you, when you look back yourself obviously you're still at Sheffield Wednesday these, these guys have gone what's it mean to you now it's that little bit of history that nobody, nobody can ever take that away from you. You know, some lads have moved on, they play in Premier League football. And 
earned a lot of money, some lads have moved elsewhere, gone into coaching side of things. It's, it's the one thing that nobody can ever take away from you is that little bit of history. You've played a part at, the, at a fantastic football club to, who was on a downward spiral to help them get back in the, on the right on the right road, shall we say, and as you say, to go away and come back to it and now with uh, recent news obviously over the last few weeks and things like that, it's, it's a great place to be at, but these lads have been fantastic. We had a lot of young kids there that uh, Christina took a chance on and gone on to play in the Premier League. I mean, Sturrock deserves all the accolades in the world, but Chris deserves a little pat on the back as well. You touched on there the new times here at Sheffield Wednesday. Could this takeover be a, a springboard to similar things in the future? Perhaps? Well, you hope it's a catalyst. You'd hope you, you can go through the same experience that it takes you to the, the promised land, so to speak, in the Premier League. If anybody can guarantee you promotion, you'd always take the day out of a playoff final. Um, now, yes, it's a lottery, but just that occasion and hey, at the end of the day it was promotion from the third division in England but now if we could take that step to the Premier League then and and you could do it via the playoffs it'd be unbelievable because this these fans are they're just desperate for that for that opportunity to to battle out with the big boys again and listen it's exciting times